Hey, welcome to Nearest Horse Prepping. I'm your host, Greg. Please continue to like, follow me here on YouTube for as long as they allow free speech, which is being limited. They are, they are removing contributors, producers, whatever you want to call us, by the hundreds daily for disagreement with their censorship policies. Follow me on Rumble under the same name, Erie Shores Prepping. You can search it and I will be there. Follow me there. I need your support. A while back, uh, I did a video, as some others mentioned, that a mysterious Chinese lab was found outside of Fresno, California. And uh, the local news media said, oh yeah, a Chinese lab. And they tried to uh, have a news conference the state of California Health Department took it over and basically said there's nothing to fear, folks, nothing uh, here. It was blown out of proportion and everything else. The national news media dropped coverage over that. The State Department, under the failed retread Anthony Blinken, shut down all inquiries. Why did they do that? I'll tell you why. Because inside this so-called makeshift lab, which was being uh, conducted, business being conducted inside a warehouse that should have been condemned, that was in such poor condition that it drew the attention of the local inspectors. So this wasn't just a, you know, a, a regular lab that had all kinds of, no. They never had any security features or anything else. This was bioterrorism being conducted here in this lab. And I will tell you something. In March, uh, March 13th of 2023, after numerous attempts to try and contact the owners of Prestige Labs, which by the way, the owners are in China, only spoke Chinese, and ignored all requests to enter the building for a voluntary search. No one has been arrested. No one has been fined. Nothing is going on. And everybody just mysteriously disappears. It's a cover-up of epic proportions. And, the, and what was discovered in these vials should alarm everyone. March 13th, judge issued search warrant to enter the warehouse. What they found was lab mice. Many of them are dead. Some of them are alive. But a total of 1,000 1, lab uh, rats, mice, had to be uh, euthanized because they were contaminated with a variety of viruses. Unmarked chemicals, still not identified in containers. Blood vials, human blood in vials that are unidentified. Some of them that have been identified contain toxins, bio-warfare. Three months to clean up the warehouse by the EPA and the health department. It took three months to clean up this warehouse and the owners never responded to any request. 305 pages of court filings against this company and the Chinese people running it. Case number 23CECG00912 in Reedley, California, R-E-E-D-L-Y. You can find it there and read about it and you should be stunned, you should be mad, you should be fearful of what is happening here with the open borders. 23CECG900912, Reedley, California. 305 pages of filings. And I'm going to contribute this to Truth Over News, who followed up on this and discovered what was actually going on in California, in Fresno, and Reedley. So, Truth Over News, you get credit on this one. Inside the lab, the bio-warfare that was going to be conducted against Americans, because why else would you have these toxic, lethal viruses in 
a non-laboratory setting. This is basically garage biotech warfare being brewed up to unleash against the American population. HIV was discovered. We all know what that does. That kills you deader than anything. Turns into AIDS. Also highly communicable. Multiple kills under this bio warfare. Rubella, also known as German measles. Most adults, minor symptoms. I had rubella and I had to wear sunglasses. German measles back in the 60s. Our house was quarantined. Of course, we were young children then. I think 9, 10, somewhere in there. But however... If, you can, if a pregnant woman contracts rubella, it can result in severe injury to the baby and or death causes multiple health issues, blindness, deafness, internal organ defects. It's just a nasty thing to get when you're pregnant. But again, it is designed to kill Americans. E. coli, salmonella poisoning. You've heard that. Restaurant chains have had to go bankrupt because they got Salmonella E. coli on lettuces and everything else. Romaine lettuce. You've heard that before. Dengue fever. It is not known here in the United States. I had to look it up. Dengue fever is transmitted by uh, female mosquitoes. It bites you, transmits the virus in there turns into dengue hemorrhagic fever. You basically bleed out if you're left untreated. 40,000 people die from that in the regions affected of South Asia, Southeast Asia, and South America. Gee, where did the 1,100 military-aged Chinese males disappear to? They came up from South America. Did they bring this virus with them? How did these viruses end up in this lab? Who got them? Where did they get them from? How did they find them? Why is no one arrested? Why is no one being questioned? Why was Joe Prado, P-R-A-D-O, when he held a news conference, why was he usurped by the state of California Health Department and shut down? Can you tell me that? Can anyone tell me that? Why is there no arrest? Why are there no fines? Why did it take the EPA and the health department over a month to clean up this degraded, condemned warehouse, why was there a one-block quarantine around this warehouse enforced that no one was allowed to go in or out of without proper word or <clears throat> authorization? People are saying, oh, the national news media, the cover-up people, the enemy of the public, covered it up and said nothing's here. Yet there is absolutely everything here. In, also in that supposed lab, corona vi or COVID virus was also found in there. Tuberculosis, that kills people, destroys your lungs. Herpes, not lethal, but it spreads like wildfire. This is all discovered in the lab. HIV, rubella, E. coli, COVID virus. How many people died from COVID? 40 million worldwide. Dengue fever. 390 million people affected by dengue fever. 50% require hospitalization. 40,000 die yearly from dengue hemorrhagic fever. Tuberculosis and herpes. And again, this has contributed to truth over news. You can search it yourself. This so-called lab started out as MedTech, and they were supposedly making COVID testing strips, which never worked, which, never, which were never produced. And what is amazing is they applied for and received PPP of $150,000 to continue on with this so-called COVID testing, and uh, they never worked. This company, miraculously, all of it owned by Chinese nationals, miraculously had a fire, then went bankrupt, and then it was brought, bought by Prestige Labs to continue on making COVID testing kits, which never worked, and had to be recalled. All all of them are Chinese nationals, never responded to any inquiries. Pardon me. 
In March 13th, 2023, a judge issued a search warrant to enter the warehouse. They discovered a thousand lab mice. Many of them had to be euthanized. A thousand dead mice. Unmarked chemicals, still not identified. One block radius evacuation ordered. Three months to clean the warehouse. Owners live in China, never responded to any request. Vials of human blood were discovered that contain these viruses. And like I said, 305 pages of discovery and filings in Reedley, California. And that's all the notes that I have, I beg your pardon. I just wanna make sure I cover everything. Yep, rubella was one of them. Major health issues to pregnant women and newborn babies. Causes deafness, blindness, heart defects, development of internal organs uh, slowed down, causing death, brain development, and learning disabilities. All of this was discovered in this so-called lab, but it was basically designed to be bioterrorism, launched or would be launched against American citizens. For all you rubes out there that say, we gotta have open borders. These people just want a better life. This is, this is the result of not knowing who is in our country, how they got here, who they are, and what they brought with us. Oh, they just want, they just want economic freedom. That may be true, but not everybody here is to do us well. And we see by this discovery that had been operating since 2015 under the radar and still nobody's been arrested and the Chinese government is non-cooperating -cooper with inquiries. What a surprise. They get a deal of the deck, they get a deal from the bottom of the deck and they don't have to answer to any questions and they are not being held responsible by the US State Department Joe Biden administration, the local authorities tried to spill the beans, but they were shut down by the state of California. Gee, I wonder why. It all goes back to Chinese power and who they bought out. Scary stuff, folks, scary stuff. What if they were successful? What if they were successful? What if they had spread it? Makes you wonder, what's next? Poison in our water? How about food? How about somebody just deliberately being a homicide weapon infected with any of these, having sex, injecting somebody else with their blood to spread these diseases? How about putting it in our food? You think about it, folks. This is how close we are, and it was just by sheer luck that a building inspector discovered a hose out the back of the building through a makeshift hole when everything else was shut down and the building was should have been condemned. You think about that. You see how close we are. Get yourself right with God. Ask for forgiveness for your sins. Repent. You don't know if there is a tomorrow. Become born again, baptized, submerged in water. It's all scripture, folks. This is what you have to do in order to live a perfect life after this fallen world, after your body is gone and this fallen world that is controlled by Satan exists. You can live ever after. Never have to worry about dengue fever, herpes, HIV, or anything else. None of that exists in heaven. Thank you. Great God.